Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, which has been testing healthy foods and dietary supplements for the last 20 years and reporting on them at ConsumerLab.com. And today I'm here to talk about coconut waters, um, which we recently tested looking at the amounts of sugar, potassium, magnesium, sodium in these products, tasting them, etc. And so I want to talk to you just quickly about what we found and really what is coconut water and uh, should you even be using it? Well, first of all, coconut water is basically very safe. Um, none of these products contain anything that would be of concern. Um, however, there were varying levels of sugars and other, other uh, uh, nutrients in these that I'm going to talk about. Um, keep in mind with, with coconut water, what you're getting really is potassium. Um, Few people are really deficient in potassium, so it's not like you're, you really need to go out and go out of your way to get potassium, but it does contain about anywhere from 300 to 500 milligrams of potassium, which will give you, for a man, roughly about 20%, of, I'm sorry, about 13% of the potassium you need, for a woman, about 20% uh, per day. Um, the other thing you're gonna get from, from coconut water is some magnesium, um, but only a small amount. Uh, you would have to drink a whole bottle's worth, about 500 ml of one of these, to get even 10% of what you need in terms of magnesium per day. Um, the FDA considers that a, a good source of magnesium when you hit 10%. At just a cup, if you're just drinking a cup, you, you're not going to even get there. You'll have about maybe 5% of the magnesium. The other important thing is it also contains some sodium, but also a small amount, only about uh, 10% of the amount of potassium you get in, in terms of sodium. So if there's 400 milligrams of uh, potassium, you might get 40 milligrams of sodium. That's not a lot of sodium. If you're out there sweating, um, you need to replace sodium uh, as well as water. So you're out there out doing heavy exercise for a couple of hours. Uh, coconut water is not your best choice. You're better off with something like a Gatorade, which has uh, probably twice or more of the amount of sodium than you'll find in most of these products. Um, the other thing that, that we looked at was sugar. Um, and be aware that when you're, when you're drinking you know, coconut water, which uh, has a, you know, kind of a mildly sweet, nice kind of coconut taste, and, and this is just one of the products, and you'll, you'll see some variation in color. I wouldn't, you don't need to worry about that. Some are a little more yellow, some a little more clear or hazy. Sometimes they're a little bit pink. And this is the water from the immature green coconuts, very different from coconut oil, um, which is made from a mature coconut um, and contains all types of fats, um, including the, uh, the MCT oils. And we have a whole review at Consumer Lab of coconut oils and MCT oils. But you're not gonna get fats from, from coconut, but you are gonna get sugar. Uh, and the amount of sugar that you find in these products ranged from what we found was about almost seven grams of sugar uh, per cup uh, in Naked versus about 11 grams of sugar in, uh, in Trader Joe coconut water. And the others fell in between. Um, and the amount of sugar we're talking about is, so per cup, if this were a full cup, we're talking about anywhere from about uh, half a tablespoon of sugar to, uh, with Trader Joe, a full tablespoon of sugar almost. That's about 12 grams. We found about 11 grams in, in Trader Joe. Um, so be aware that when you're drinking coconut water, you're also taking in sugar. So if you just need to hydrate yourself, you know, basic hydration, you're better off drinking water um, unless you, you, you're willing to take in that extra sugar uh, and are willing to make that sacrifice you know, for the nice taste of, of coconut water. Um, be aware that you can overdo it with coconut water. You can overdo it with anything. Um, there was a report of a man, a 42-year-old man in the U.S. who drank uh, the equivalent of about eight uh, uh, bottles of coconut water this size um, and ended up in the hospital uh, because his potassium levels were too high with which can affect your heart, your heart rate, et cetera. Um, so, so don't overdo it with coconut water. Again, don't substitute it for just water. Um, another reason not to just to substitute it for water is the expense. Coconut water is somewhat expensive. The price uh, for these products ranged from a low from, of about 70, 72 cents for Trader Joe per cup um, to as much as almost $2 for Taste Nirvana. Um, so 
that's a lot of money, you know, for, for a cup of uh, basically water with, with some sugar and potassium in it. Um, nevertheless, it is enjoyable. Um, if you want to get our full results, see our report on consumerlab.com. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them uh, where you see this video. Uh, thanks very much. This is Dr. Todd Cooperman uh, for Consumer Lab.